And welcome back to Cigar Time, your friendly Tuesday night show all about premium cigars. Uh, I, once friendly? again, what's that? Friendly. Friendly. Well, of course it's friendly. Yeah, uh, we're, we're friendly to them, just not to, not to each, to each other. other. Yeah, yeah something like that. On our status around the world yet. Our status uh, around? Yeah, we're no, still this, number one. No, we're still, not only are we still number one, we're pulling. Finland is sucking our exhaust. So is Norway. No, Norway we lost a long time ago. They, they gave up already. But even in, even Indonesia's bailing out. Yeah, they're all bailing. They, they can't compete. They can't compete. Sorry, okay, just... uh, welcome to our show. As I said, I, I think we're going to have a cigar time show. Yeah. Are we not? Yes. Yeah, let's, our shirts. let's give it a shot. Yes, this is on our shirt. Yes, you see our new shirt. shirts. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? We'll probably have some first time we listeners. Should we, uh, I hope they're doing more than listening. I hope they're watching. My shirt. Oh, my God. What do we want to do? Say who we are? Yeah. Oh, so well, new, new, I'll, new I'll, I'll introduce everybody. To my far left is the lovely Miss Tia. You can say hello. Hi. <laughs> is your mic on? And to yeah. my left and her right is uh, Rob, used to be from South Philly? No, I was never from South, South Philly. South Norristown, Rob. <laughs> 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 never from South Suburbs, Rob. To my immediate right it's is uh, Laugh-A-Minute Scott. <laughs> oh boy! It's I can't Every wait to hear the next seconds. one. And, and, and to his right is Smoking Joe, or effectively <laughs> referred to as Paul. Smoking Joe. <laughs> and that's who we are. Folks. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you see next, next week. week. <laughs> and that's our show. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, that was a great show, guy. We can sharpen up a little bit. Let's, 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 let's give him a little more. Should we give him a little more? No, we could we could smoke a cigar. Oh, well, the lovely Misty will tell us all about our cigar today. Our cigar today is the Nestor Miranda Special Selection. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Connecticut, which is one of Paul's favorite. Uh, the binder is Nicaraguan, and the filler is Dominican, Nicaraguan, and Honduran. You forgot to mention Nicaraguan is my favorite binder. Is it really? <laughs> so this is I'll a, make sure I say that next time. This is a pretty good mixed breed cigar. It's a box press cigar, which is my much. favorite. Um, the sizes are Corona, Gordo, Lancero, Panatella, Robusto, or Torpedo. The taste profile is leather, nut, sweet, spice, and some nougat. Nougat? Nougat? Nougat. 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 As we come to the Nougat. So the nougat. Nougat. Out. nougat. Nougat. You said it right the first time. I did. And it's founded by uh, Nestor and Miranda in 1989. I just want to point out, just smelling the cigar, it smells awesome. I like smelling cigars. Some don't smell that great when, you know, before you light it up, but this one smells Rapper, awesome. Rapper, delicious smell. By, right? we by the way, our Zycar cutter. Yeah. Yeah. Nest, Nestor Miranda, by the way, founded Miami Cigar in That's 1989. Right. You said that. Yes, I know. I was oh. going to add to that. Oh. Um, well, hold on. Let me just get in before you keep adding that we, we cut our cigars with our official Cigar Time cutter, the Zycar cutter, and now we're going to light it with the new Zycar Alum, the official lighter of Cigar Time. So we just yeah. want to tell you folks that. Oh, and they have, you know, they for this cigar, they've placed in the top 25. Just want to point that out. Yeah, got a very high rating. They Paul, did get a very high rating. Why don't you chime in? I was just going to say, Nestor Miranda started Miami Cigar when he came out of Cuba. He's Cuban-born. Mm -hmm. And Miami Cigar is known for a lot of brands that don't have Nestor Miranda's name on them, but they're well-known anyway, like La Aurora. Leon Jimenez? Leon Jimenez. I like the way you say that. I say Jimenez. My name, Jose Jimenez. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> anyway. Don Lino. They, yes, and Don Lino. So they have numerous famous brands, but... Nestor himself is sort of a, a lifestyle kind of guy. He's known for hey, living it up a certain way, and and right. and he creates cigars to go with them. You didn't know that. <clears throat> oh, I know he's a lifestyle guy. I see the pictures, and I've met him a number of times. He is a lifestyle guy. And it's Nestor Miranda, not Ernesto Miranda. Nestor. You said er no, I said er like I didn't know what I was going to oh, say. Oh, okay. It's not Ernesto Miranda. He's a different person. That's Ernesto Carrillo. Ernesto Miranda is the guy that had the Miranda rights. No, no I don't think so. I, I know for a fact. I said His name was Nesta Miranda? Ernesto. Instead of oh, Ernesto, That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Ernesto Miranda. He's a little know. older, too. As much as he's dead now. But, Probably. Yeah. Is he still dead? He's still dead. He's still, still dead. After all these years. We're still voting in Chicago. Okay. <laughs> That's, and they're voting early and they're voting often. often right. 
initial thoughts as you uh, smoke the first nickel and dime? I, I'm getting a very um, earthy taste to this cigar, just off the of first light. So, first light, I'm getting a sweet spice. Sweet spice. That's Any more orange get. peels? That's what I'm getting. Uh, no orange peels today. Yeah, I get the sweet Although spice. Although it feels kind like chocolate in my mouth. Yeah, I need bite it a little bit. Like, oh, it's nice and chewy. Mm, pretty. It's because it's box pressed. I know, I love it. It's box a press. very firm box yeah, press. Yes, it is. I love box press. Draw is nice though. It does. The cigar starts out so hard you expect it not to right, draw. Exactly. You think it's going to be plugged. It's but nice. this, is, mm -hmm. this is a robusto. It's a robusto. Yeah. That's, a, yeah. that's, a, that's a thin robusto, but. Well, well it, it depends on whether you look at it this way. If you, if you round way. it out, it's 50. It's pretty thick this way, yeah. Get so out the ruler. It's a 50. The yeah. It's nice. I it like is. it. It is. It's subtly sweet. Mm -hmm. Paul? I think it's surprisingly more flavorful than a glance at the wrapper mm -hmm. might suggest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Nougaty, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> nougaty. Nougaty. Mm -hmm. nougaty. 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 No, it's nougaty. Sweet spice of nougaty. <laughs> well, I, I don't think most of our viewers are aware that we have a, um, how should I describe? Um, <laughs> cigar I, know where, I know where we're going with this. <laughs> One of our cast members uh, has a lengthy criminal past. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Why are you bringing that up? I wouldn't say it's what? Paul, why don't yeah. you oh, explain? I'll do well, that. not me. I, it's not that I have a lengthy criminal past, or at least <laughs> not one that I want to talk about. But um, It's not lengthy, it's just a, a lot and frequent. Uh, I, I do have a lengthy <laughs> past of, of traveling all over Central and South America in the pursuit of the best tobaccos I can find. And that sometimes leads to some pretty bizarre adventures. So I'm going to tell you about one of them today. Uh, on this particular adventure, I flew into uh, Costa Rica. And uh, I was off on a hunt for some Costa Rican tobacco that's kind of unusual in that it's grown high up in the mountains instead of low down in the valleys. Uh, I found the tobacco that I was looking for. I made some deals for that. And my plan was to proceed from there over the border into Nicaragua. I, that's, 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 that's really that's funny. Just, funny. Listen to that. It's like, how can you do that with stuff that you have from somewhere else? It, that, that was not a problem. Oh, okay. Um, what, what it turned out, what was a problem is the car that I rented my car from does not let you take the car out of the country. So I had to go through a whole complicated arrangement with them where I drove to the nearest town to the border and left the car there and got driven over the border by someone from the rent-a-car company. And someone else from the same company but in Nicaragua drove three hours from Managua, the capital, to meet me at the border and give me a car which was all terrific. It all worked out. And off I went into Nicaragua to continue my tobacco hunt. And in this case, I was looking actually for a particular tobacco that's grown in the coffee region of Nicaragua. And you never hear about this, but it's a tobacco that's from the Matagalpa region, which is where Nicaraguan coffee comes from. So I found that tobacco, and I made that deal, and that was all good, too. And it was time for me to head back to Costa Rica for my flight home. So I had to do the, this whole complicated process in reverse. I had to drive back to Managua, pick up a guy from the rent-a-car company, drive down to the border, and get ready to exchange. Got to the border, got online to get my passport stamped. The guy from the rent-a-car company stayed in the car. And while I was standing online, somebody crashed into the rent-a-car. Oh, yeah. Um, he immediately jumped out of his car and said, don't worry, it's my fault, in Spanish, but don't worry, it's my fault, <laughs> everything is going to be okay. Uh, the guy from the rent-a-car company uh, had a different feeling about all this. He said, well, there's real damage to the car, and I can't let you leave without a blank credit card swipe to cover any damages. Oh, brother. Uh, and although I was born recently, I wasn't born yesterday, so I told him that that simply wasn't going to happen. And we began to argue about it, at which point 
the Nicaraguan border police came over to find out what we were arguing about. Now, I've got to put this in the right perspective. In Nicaragua, essentially, there are two kinds of people. The people that live in the cities and the people that live out on the frontier. And the people that live in the cities have absolutely no respect for the folks out on the frontier. So here's this young kid from Managua, from the rent-a-car company, arguing now with the policeman who's from the frontier. And he loses his temper and punches the guy in the face. Wow. I travel all, ki all kinds of places, and every place you go has different rules, but there's one rule that's fairly universal. <laughs> you don't punch the police. No. So out come the handcuffs, and we're both taken in cuffs, and the border police tell us they're bringing down the federal police from Managua, which is going to take a couple of hours, and we just have to sit there and wait. And they don't want to hear anything about anything. A few hours go by. The national police come. The first thing they do is take us out of the cuffs uh, to hear us each out. And while the rent-a-car guy is telling his side of the story, a car comes roaring over the border from the Costa Rican side. And it's the rent-a-car guy from Costa Rica with my exchange car. <laughs> and he <laughs> drives up to all of us, all these uniformed policemen and the whole thing, and says, that's an important American, I have to take him now. And literally throws me into his car, and off we go back over the border wow. into Costa Rica. And I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm home free. This is all <laughs> over. I don't have to worry about it. Or so you thought. Or so I thought. We get about 50 miles down the road, and I'm saying to him in my poor Spanish, thank you. I think you saved my life back there. This is wonderful. In fact, we got out of there so fast, I never got my passport stamped. At which point, he went into a total panic. Because there's, in Costa Rica, you can't do anything without your passport being stamped. And he said, we have to go back. We have to go back. <laughs> back. To the border. <laughs> he says, but I don't know if we're going to make it before the border closes. Oh, God. I said, what do you mean, before the border closes? He said, well, at a certain time, they roll out the barbed wire. And the border closes until tomorrow morning. <laughs> and nobody comes and nobody goes. Uh. So at that point, you can either sleep in no man's land in between, or I don't know what you're going to do. And I said, well, so let's check into a hotel, and we'll go over the border tomorrow. He said, you can't check into a hotel because your passport is in stamp. <laughs> so on the horrible roads of Costa Rica, we are flying back towards the border. and banging and jumping and bouncing around. And wouldn't you know it, he gets stopped by the Costa Rican police for speeding. <laughs> now, at that point, I pull my hat as low over my face as I can, because what I want to do is be invisible. And the policeman is asking him why he's going so fast. And he couldn't tell him why, because if he told them, they would arrest me on the spot. So he made up some nonsense about meeting his mother at the border. Uh, and I thought, once again, we were going to be home free. But no, the policeman comes around the car to my side and asks for my papers. First thing, sure. Papers. So at that point, I'm out of luck. I hand him my papers, and they take me away. He could tell you weren't a native Costa Rican. Uh, oh, almost immediately. <laughs> um, they put me in a, in a jail cell in Liberia, which is the northernmost large city in Costa Rica. And it wasn't a stellar place, although nothing horrible happened while I was there. How was the food? I didn't eat anything. Oh. Uh, fortunately, the next day, I was able to reach somebody at the US consulate in, uh, in the capital. And they sent someone up to get me out. But I did spend the night in a Costa Rican jail. Wow. And that's why, for me, being in the cigar business is always an adventure. I'll say. That's your story? That's one. Oh. You I, thought it, I thought you were going to have something to do with like a, a donkey and an executioner's oh, mask or something. Oh, please. Come on. A donkey and an executioner. What is his thought process? All right, so next time I'll tell you how I was taken off a plane at gunpoint in Nicaragua. Oh, right, that's, that's a cool. good one. But that'll be next time. All right. Okay. Wow. Is there a donkey involved? Oh. Oh. What's with the donkey? Family hour, people. Family hour. <laughs>
I have an interesting story about a time in Jamaica, but I'll save that for another time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Unless we're... Does it involve a donkey? It doesn't involve <laughs> a donkey. <laughs> it involves a beach. It, 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 involves, it, oh. it, it involves a rental car, a 52 Chevy, a, a bunch of gendarmes, and firing pistols. And we'll save it for another time. That sounds like a good that story. That is a good, good story. It happened a long, long time ago. Telling uh, your age? No. Very long ago. Speaking of Costa Rican tobacco. <laughs> Speaking of Costa Rican tobacco. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want to say are there something? Any, uh, are there any cigars with Costa Rican tobacco that we sell? Yes, there are. Oh, that, that, that we sell? Yeah. Um, oh, that we sell. It, Not much there, anymore. There are some that use a little, a little bit of yeah. it in their blend. Costa Rican cigars, per se, have no traction in the U.S. market at all. I think guys looking for them every once in a while. There's a certain spice to them, they could though. I like the, the only Costa Rican cigar that ever did really well... Um, Tony Barhani. Yeah, with the original yeah, Tony yeah, Barhani's yeah. and the very first iteration yeah. of CAOs. When yes, CAO right. first yes. started yeah. making cigars, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. they that's were made right. in Costa Rica, in fact, in the same factory Don that Douglas. made the uh, well, Berhanis. The Don Douglas factory, right? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. That's a long time ago. I think there still is a CAO Costa Rica out there. There is? I think it's, I think it's only, but I think it's just sold through one catalog, and that's it. Oh, maybe, yeah. Well, well I think we should uh, get to our uh, talking about the cigar now that we've smoked the fucker shows work. That's fine. Okay, Paul. Well, now Paul's yeah, been we'll talking. We'll give Paul a break. Sure. Tia. Sorry, I had to blow my smoke out. Okay. Um, I think this is a mild to medium. I'm really liking the aroma. Definitely like the flavors. Um, I'm getting leather, sweet spice. Um, they're actually playing on the front and the back palette. I'm not really getting nutty, and I really think the wrapper is really tasty. And I'm not a big fan of. Connecticut, maybe because I really, maybe because this is Ecuadorian Connecticut. That's probably why I like it a little bit more, a little bit more. Could it be because you're a Southern girl? What does that have to do with Ecuadorian? Oh, because Connecticut. Connecticut. Ah, I get it. Yeah. That no. wasn't the best one. <laughs> it was it. Um, the construction's beautiful. It's box press. I think it's a simple yet effective cigar. Simple yet effective. Paul. Um, I like where it's going. It's it's definitely a mild cigar. It had that sweetness at the beginning sweet spice that's getting a little bit spicier as it goes. With, with each puff, it just sort of develops a little bit. It's staying in the mild zone, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, I think it's very much how it's described. I mean, leathery, sweet spice, something mm -hmm. about nougat and nuts. Um, in fact, if you've got a peanut allergy, you don't want to smoke this. <laughs> <laughs> you've been waiting all show to say that, right? No, I just uh, came up with it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree. Um, when I first heard we were going to smoke this cigar, I'm like, I don't want to smoke that cigar. <laughs> but <laughs> having said that. You did say that. I, yeah. Yeah. But I changed my mind. This is actually a, a really nice cigar. I like it a lot. I'm getting a lot more taste than I thought I was going to get. I'm definitely getting the leather and the nuts and the sweet spice to it. No nougat. Um, orange peels? But no orange peels either. It, it's very nice. I, I like the Ecuadorian Connecticut wrappers. Uh, it's a lot better than I thought it was. It's going to be so. It's getting a little. It's getting a little buttery. Yeah, it's, it's smoothing out as you're smoking it. It is. It's a surprisingly it complex yeah. smoke it for is. something that seems like it ought to be right. simple and bland. Right. Exactly. Well, I but say simple only because of the mildness, and then just all the flavors are working together. So it's. To me, it's not too complex. Yeah, it is all working together. You're right. Mm -hmm. I know these retail for around eight dollars a piece. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not an inexpensive cigar. It's around no, it's eight not. bucks. And but it comes in different sizes and such. But, but, here's what I think we should do. Uh oh. oh we no. bought all the remaining cigars in this line. A whole, whole big bunch. You mean there's more than those three bundles? Oh, yeah, that's right. there's a lot more. <laughs> so they're than not those. making this anymore. What's that? You said you bought the remaining. They're not making these. Not anymore? in this side. Not oh. in this uh, uh, presentation. Not, not, not in the box. In not in the box press. Okay. And since we bought them all, I think we should give everybody a bargain on these. 
here we go. Now, normally these would be around two hundred dollars a bundle. You're not going to do something crazy. Yeah, I'm going to do, do something crazy. crazy. Maybe two hundred dollars a box. They usually two hundred dollars a box. Now they usually come in the box, and the boxes, you know, depending on the presentation, could be three mm -hmm. or four dollars a piece for the box, and divide that by twenty-five. So that you know, that's about twelve cents a cigar for the box, and they're normally around eight dollars. So we could sell them for seven eighty-eight, and and that would be the normal <laughs> price. Twelve cents for the box. Eight dollars. I gotcha. So, I think we should do better than that. Yeah. You're scaring me. It never, it He's never ends. Me. I know. I know. I'm afraid to hear Let's this. See. I'm ready so for this. Twenty-five times eight would be two hundred bucks. Let's Is forget it? the box at yeah. that price point for just a moment. If we gave everybody, let's say, fifty percent off. It'd be like ninety nine ninety five. Yeah. Which would be a hell of a buy. But for, for you, that's yeah. not yeah. crazy enough, though. What's that? For you, that's not crazy enough. That's not crazy enough. <laughs> no. How much money do you want me to lose? It's pretty. Don't you think? But what you, you want pretty to be crazy. crazy. Me? Yeah. One fifty. One fifty. I'm surprised you didn't say two hundred. I'm already down to ninety nine ninety five. You're going in the wrong direction. As oh, usual. Yeah. You ask me. But you want my opinion or not? One twenty. No. One twenty. That's what it should be. I already said ninety nine ninety five. You people are going in the wrong direction. Seventy nine ninety five. Seventy nine sounds better. Seventy nine ninety five sounds pretty cool. It does. It's a good price. Seventy eight. Sounds like a bargain. How about for the next? Let's see. This show is airing on the twenty fifth of September, right? Twenty third. Twenty third. I can't read. Twenty third. Twenty third. How about for the next? And how many days are there? It's only thirty days in September, so right? So it's seven. Mm -hmm. Thirty days. How about for the next seven days, we run them, mm, let me think about this a second. Don't think too hard. <laughs> yeah, it was a Jeopardy theme. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that on. Yeah. How about not 99, how about not 79? Not 150. Not 150. Not 69? Ah. Oh, I like 69. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I'm sure you That's do. Good price. How about if we sell them for sixty-nine and ninety-five cents? <laughs> Just your, so that it's not bailed your yeah. butt out. Yeah. How about if we sell them for sixty-nine ninety-five? Just less than three bucks, bucks a cigar. Yeah, that's, yeah. Wow, that's a pretty good price. Are we really Should doing sixty nine? It's twenty five cigars for yeah. sixty nine ninety five. That's what wow. it says. Eight dollar cigars. I'm worth it too. Yeah, eight dollar eight dollar cigars yeah, for less than three dollars a piece. It doesn't have a box. Well, that's worth twelve cents. You know, what? most people put take them out of the box anyway and put, put them in their humidor. humidor. So what's the difference about the box? Jinx, you could you save enough money. Time. You could buy a humidor. <laughs> that's about two seventy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I think that's about two seventy five a piece. I think that right. is kind of crazy. Well. So what's we, the price? Maybe we should take it up a little. No, I like sixty nine. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, you like sixty nine. Very funny. That's a great number. You wish. No. No. I, no. I could do 10 minutes with no. that line alone. You do realize none of which could make it out of the no, air. No, absolutely not. Bruce will be I'm bleeping lost. everything he says. All right. I'm lost. $69.95 for the next seven days. Come and get them. How much? Wow. $69.95. Wow, we got them in Robusto. There's some Churchill. There's some other sizes. We got floss from our lifestyle. That's all crazy. All stores will have them. It's first come, first serve. No rain checks. No promises. Is it limited? No Hail Marys. No nothing. Is it limited? Oh, not yes. limited? What's that? Wild supplies oh, less. Yeah, but how but, many can you buy? Yeah, is you it buy limited? all you want until the supply oh, runs so out. I don't do care. Three, four, five, ten. You know we're gonna have we're gonna have <laughs> other stores coming in here trying to buy them all. Yeah. Well, no dealers, please. This is for our brick and mortar customers <laughs> only. Sixty nine ninety five. I don't think you're gonna find this available anywhere else. No. No. It is a great cigar. Great. Now that we said the price, now we gotta rate it. <laughs> Yeah, I think we Yeah, that let's do the rating. All right, Paul, go ahead. You're the you're you're a very talented person. He's almost done with his. He's a power hitter. I'm a power hitter, and this is not a powerful cigar, but I like it anyway. Uh, I'll go four three five. Okay, Scott. I'm just gonna go four and a quattro. Four and a quattro. Tia. With four thirty so far. Um, time. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go four four and four. Four uh, point four. Uh, uh, did it again. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Really? Going to go. Yeah, four four. Yeah. Do you realize all our lately all our ratings are between four and five? Like it's not one anymore. It's like well, but we haven't hit. Thank many. God we haven't hit any really yeah. crappy cigars. Right, I'm gonna round it out. I tend to agree with them. Four four. Yeah, it's a four four. Yeah. Now wasn't this cigar in the top CA's top twenty five yes, cigars a couple is. years ago? Yes, it is. Yep. Yes, it will. Yes, it was. So. 
come and get it. it was I believe it works out to two seventy five or so. In this was rated in ninety one. It was rated in ninety one. Yeah, it's a real, it's a real cigar. Mm -hmm. And I would it definitely pair this with, with a wine, something like a sweet. To me, I'd do a sweet wine. Well, we we checked with the uh, illustrious Uncle Max. Yeah. And what did he say? He said either a Highland Scotch or a bourbon would be perfect with this. Yeah. Or, well, I said coffee, and he says, yeah, but coffee's good with anything. So not Muscatel. <laughs> no, no rot gut, no. I like wine with coffee. Actually, I, 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 can, I can see really. this with a bourbon. This would be great yeah. with okay. a bourbon. Has a really nice finish. Yeah, it does. That's yeah, it does great. have a it's very clean. It has a very clean taste. Maybe, no, yeah. There's no aftertaste on this. Maybe we should raise the price. And when you put it down, it doesn't roll around. Right. Let's raise the price. <laughs> That's why it's I black think we're selling rest. them too cheap. No, you already said six. It's already too late. too late. But we can edit that out. No, you're committed. You can't renege. You can't renege. You should be committed, I mean. I should be, because that price, <laughs> I should be committed. Because I wouldn't have any money to buy them shoes, but, you know. Okay, we're going to sell them for $69.95. $69 it's a bundle of 25 or a mazdo of 25 For 69 No box. You want the box? It's three bucks extra. If you, you can find boxes? it. Yeah, no. We'll but if we add it, it'd be three bucks extra. We'll get you a box for you for three bucks extra. Yeah, for three bucks extra, we'll sell you an empty box of anything. <laughs> <laughs> I can assure you these will disappear quickly. Oh, they're going to go fast. For six, uh, yeah, for sixty nine ninety five, yeah. I'm gonna get one. Do I, I get might it for smoke a bunch of these myself. Yeah. Do we get it for sixty nine ninety five? I'm I'm gonna get a bundle. Yeah, you can I'm buy them for sixty nine plus tax. And Put this in my humidor and then just pass it around. Can I take one for free? No. You're smoking one I'll for free you. right now. Well, I want one. For yeah, free. you're smoking one now for I want free. One for free. Well, you're smoking. You have one for free. Take one. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, I'm about to give you a heart attack. Okay, I'm Wait sorry. I'm sorry. Free. <laughs> That's just not among my vocabulary. We don't do free. We do reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where that was going. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that was good. What's the topic? So was I. You can go. Uh, you <laughs> oh yeah, we got. We don't have a minute to do our topic. <laughs> we already did the topic. We did not. It was. It was, it was getting Paul arrested in, in Costa Rica. Oh, Paul I in jail. Like this topic. <laughs> Paul's no, been in the field. To, can I? He no. He's been in the fields. He's been in the factory. Now he's been in jail. I had an homage to him. This is a good topic. We'll save the topic for next week. Oh man! Don't worry. No good topic goes to waste. I just have to remember what my answer. I had a surprise. I could. I didn't. I wasn't even able to get my story in Jamaica. And nobody wants to hear it. Everybody would like to hear it. Once you hear it, you'll like it. Yeah, man. I probably heard it like a thousand times. <laughs> Speaking of Jamaica, I just read that the uh, Macanudos. Yeah, 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 they're, they're going to make a very Jamaica. limited Are run. They? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. Some Jamaica tobacco. You know what that means, though? Another hurricane is going to hit. Yeah, right. So right. Like, no. right. As soon as they get started. Knock on wood. I can't believe this half hour went by so damn Me neither. I can't believe we didn't get to this get topic. To stand up. We were having such a good time. Thank and then you're you. trying to talk me out of giving these things away. I want to give them away. I want people I mean, in the uh, stores. I, mean, I want them having fun. I want them oh. buying cigars, smoking cigars. Yeah. Say goodbye, Gracie. All right, time to say goodbye, Gracie. Smoke often, smoke happy, Gracie. stay out of jail. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> yeah, Costa Rican jail, anyway. You better hurry. Bye bye for now. Ciao bye for now, everybody. And those of you who don't know who Gracie is, look up George Burns and Gracie Allen. Again, we thank you very much for your patronage. Thank you for your viewership. And we're going to see you next Tuesday night at 7.30. Thank you very much.